Distraught Jane MacDonald lost Eddie Roth, her beloved partner of 13 years, at the worst possible time, in the midst of the pandemic. She now says that his death from cancer in March 2021 has taught her a valuable lesson, to appreciate every moment, because life is for living. The Cruising with Jane MacDonald star, also a former singer, harnessed her grief and used it to learn how to make the most of life before it's lost. Speaking of the learning curve she experienced just two months after her beloved's death, she exclaimed, if we know anything about what has happened in this past year, it's that life is too short. This has taught me that life is for living and I will live it even more when we are allowed out again, she added to the mirror. Longing for the pandemic to be over so that she can start to appreciate her blessings again, Jane has vowed to do more traveling. She also reversed the decision she had made in 2021 to retire from performing after realizing that packing her life full of work was helping with her grief. It's been my healer being out with the fans, she subsequently told the world when she appeared as a guest on ITV's Loose Women. The 58-year-old has lamented that she is no longer as young as she once was, but still wants to combine time spent singing with her work on screen. Her seventh series of Cruising with Jane McDonald recently aired on TV. I am going to dedicate 2023 to more television because I am getting on a bit, I'm not as young as I should be, she joked. The star, who rose to fame in her 30s after appearing on the cruise in 1998, was left shaken and saddened by Eddie's death. She had been planning a long-term future with the liquid gold drummer, only for it to be taken from them when he succumbed to lung cancer last spring. She now feels her future endeavors will be a way to pay tribute to him. Her relationship with Eddie had been a chance at finding happiness with a partner again after her previous ill-fated marriage with a plumber she had met while touring in the Caribbean. After their televised wedding, her then-husband Henrik gave up his career to become Jane's manager, which eventually soured the waters between them. Speaking in her autobiography, Riding the Waves, My Story, Jane confessed, your manager is your boss and tells you what to do, what to wear and who to be, so our relationship changed. I loved him with all my heart, but felt he had stopped looking at me as a wife. I became a product. I couldn't flourish in a relationship like this. The lines were too blurred. I was a slightly overweight northern woman in her thirties but the stylists wanted me to be classier, cut your hair, lose weight, stop talking, put your arms away. Then disaster struck as she was dropped by her record label, suffered a financial crisis and felt the whole industry had turned their backs on us. Henrik had loved me once but I could see in his eyes that he didn't anymore, she lamented. He wanted to go back to America and live his life and I loved him enough to let him. After her heart was broken twice, Jane then returned to her roots for a Channel 5 series entitled Jane MacDonald, Yorkshire, a love letter to the region where she grew up. The past month has also offered the opportunity to catch her show, Holidaying with Jane MacDonald, The Caribbean, which remains available on My 5.